Hello everyone, Man Faces here, and I'm happy that I can show you guys the Vault Tech Workshop Overview. So, this DLC was around the same price of the Atomatron DLC, and it kind of seems like it's going to favor the Atomatron DLC, uh, but there's some things going on in here that I think are super cool. Um, right now we're looking at the basic map of the Vault 88 uh, based on the construction diagrams. And if you guys notice, there's these excavation morgues, you know, over there. And basically, man, that is really big building areas. We're talking maybe the size of three or four settlements uh, for the size of your vault. So they really didn't skimp on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to just try to show everybody uh, each piece of the building kit as I kind of learn it. Um, because I spent a large portion of my night last night trying to figure out how to put together the atrium and uh, all the other kits. Because as you can see, uh, there are a bunch of different kits. Each one's different colors, different textures on them, and they all do different things. Uh, this is a copy of this one. This one actually has a bunch of hallways and passway throughs. So I guess you kind of want to set it up so that way these can run around the vault and then the domestic ones actually have their own but we're getting way ahead of ourselves so let's just start with the first part we're going to start with the atrium now when you get your vault it's going to be full of clutter you're going to have to clean it out but most of the parts that are in here are atrium parts I do believe the parts work with other kits. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so that's something I was thinking about. See, there are uh, these utility pass passways that you probably have to use. I don't think you can connect uh, the atrium kit to uh, the common rooms kit. No, it won't let you. But. I believe that you could connect uh, a utility pathway to the domestic kit. Yeah, so that's how it works. Okay, and just stick with me because it's even bigger. And they got these awesome hallways. Now you're looking at this room and you're like, that's great and all, but I'd fill up the room with this and I'd hit my settlement budget really fast. Well, what they did is they kind of broke it up into different settlements, but you have to go get them. And in order to do that, you have to go and battle the monsters in these rock slides. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who wants to do it, but just know that it's epic and uh, quite enjoyable. I had a great time messing around with it if you guys are checking out the survival series, but I kind of wanted something that I could get out there really quickly. All right, let's get started. All right, so if you guys notice, and I'm sorry about it being dark in here. Um, I haven't gotten to the power section of the video yet, but I'll lighten it up in post. Okay, so I want to show everybody these atrium prefab ends. When I was trying to figure them out last night, it just really didn't quite make sense because uh, the area that they give you is to start with is this one over here, but it doesn't really line up too well. Well, what I found out is that these are kind of like they can only be placed one way. Now you could make them, let's see where we are right here. Okay, so if we took this out, then you can make them uh, snap into each other. It's a pain though, but that's not, yeah, there it goes. But that's not what it wants to do. What it wants to do is give a small space in the middle. And I'm guessing maybe you can make like a hallway there. But if you notice, uh, the top section up there is all lit up, it's not lit up, but connected. So basically what you do is you end your atrium with these and then you possibly can start it back here, but you would probably have to figure out uh, how you wanted that to go and how you wanted it to look. But honestly, what I could do, come in here and you're probably going to want to do this too because you see this this is a half completed wall and it gave me some issues in the build now do know these parts are rather expensive i mean rather expensive but i think there's like so much scrap in here that uh you'll be able to get away with it 
All right, now I wanted, I think I'm gonna need a utility piece with a four way. Yeah. I think that's gonna do us. And then we'll be able to uh, put our atrium pieces. I think. No, nope, I don't think it likes to snap to the utility. Let's try going with this one. Come on, buddy. No, I don't think it likes to snap to the utility. Or we might not be close enough. I'll work with it, but next what I want to talk about is how you put in the walls because they're not quite as straightforward as this appears to be and if you guys got questions put them in the bottom because I'm I'm really gonna have to make a couple of videos about these kids because they are very convoluted so I was able to get it to line up um, as usual it's always much simpler than you make it out to be so now what we want to talk about is something specific to the atrium which is their roofs you guys notice they got these cool like swept roofs uh, this is a half wall if you notice uh, I don't think it'll snap but if you didn't want this at the bottom you could have put in something else and then capped it with these and we could get into those a little bit later but right now I just want to show you guys the atrium ceiling because it only snaps to one thing and it only really snaps one way so that I found so far um, I'm really gonna have to work uh, with the kit some more but as you can see man, we can like flesh out our ceiling and you know I've been thinking that maybe this is important for living underground because if you're always inside of small rooms you might promote claustrophobia so at least having one room with uh, vaulted ceilings could be good. What's really cool is that when the when the vault itself was is built, uh, you won't be able to see the cave. Uh, I've gotten like halfway through a build in the survival mode, and it's it's kind of like a real vault where you start getting lost in it because you know everything kind of looks the same. So I'm definitely gonna have to go with like neons and stuff to personalize it. But as you guys can see, we got sweet vaulted ceilings inside of our atrium room. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and show guys um, a couple of key pieces that I found. Now you can make it as big as you want, it's up to you, but for now we're going to go ahead and cap it off. And to do that we're going to use corner bottom. Now you don't have to do this, you can use floors and mid walls, uh, we'll get to those later, but the problem is is that the kit has two sides you see how it has sometimes has an X and sometimes it has a flush face if it's only snapping to the X then you're doing something wrong uh, or you're building something above the uh, ability of the kit and I mean I, my survival mode has tons of the X's around because oh, I gotta show that there's a way to uh, do elevators like you can take the uh, the four-way elevator and box it up man it's really cool looking because I was a little I don't know the elevators look kind of like garbage man they're all utility looking but when you cover them in vault pieces oh yeah very official and we might take a look at that I don't know depends on how long this video goes all right so we've got our roof sections together and now we have our corner pieces so next thing we need to do is we need to move to the mid walls so all the pieces come in three parts okay uh disregard the first set of atrium pieces okay you have your floors but then you also have your wall bottoms and they come with a floor now if you went with a floor and a wall you'd have that problem uh that we were having about it not looking proper and showing its x but there's a couple of different ones there's ones with windows there's ones without windows there's these doors now these doors are really cool because what you can do is you can take two doors and mate them and then each side of the door is nice and flush and then you can put yourself one of these vault tech doors in it sharp man sharp the problem is when you don't do it correctly uh, it doesn't line up properly so know that when you're working on the ground try to use the bottom pieces as much as possible 
Okay, so now we're gonna go to the second set of parts, which are the mid walls. And these have some really nice windows, like these overseer windows, I like those. Uh, there's doorways for the mid. The columns, I've been messing around with them, but not too much. What we're gonna be using is the corner mid. And that's kind of all we want to do. We want to go around our corners and we just want to cover them up. Yeah, it's coming together. I'm going to have to say it's coming together. It's actually this atrium looks a little bit better than my survival mode atrium. So I'll probably end up having to go tear that down. But hey, it's all in progress, right? OK, so we can go on ahead and take a look at another piece of kit, uh, just the regular mid wall. OK, and it would go just like this, like that. Just because it says that it's a mid wall, it's not necessarily bound to being a mid wall. See, I can put it on the floor. The problem is, is that it doesn't always line up well. I mean, it will line up, but will it look, you know, really nice? OK, so after you have your mid walls, you have another type of wall. Namely, they're called wall tops. See, I think I might have done this a little backwards because if we come to our wall tops, yeah, you see, we can get a roof. Yeah, that's right. And then there's actually a wall top corner in here somewhere. I mean, there's actually even this one. See, there's tons of ways to get around uh, building these. Like, look at that. That that's sharp. Oh, yeah, man, that that's sharp. I can get behind that. So. And that's that's primarily why I'm doing these videos, guys, It's just to show you guys the little stuff that I end up finding because there's just so many uh, parts to this kit. But with respect, this facility that you get to build your vaults in. Oh, man. Yeah, that's become an issue, too. But I don't worry about it. Like I said, settlement champions, we get through. Oh, this is awesome. I like this. So we can actually like speed up our build some. And I think I would probably want to make the atrium as big as this room, because there are other places for you to build. I mean, ooh, I like that. All right. And I think that's really going to kind of do it for us with the atrium pieces. There's all there's only one other part that I'd like to talk about or show you guys. And that's it's like a finishing piece, because if you notice, like all of the um, wall segments have these like, I don't know, attachers, I guess that's I don't know. I didn't really sound right, but attach points. Oh, I see. That's cool. So then you can just clip them or they're supposed to clip. Yeah, like there for finishing on these corner ends, I think. But <laughs> they don't seem to work too, too well. So maybe I'll need to work on those. Trim maintenance only load panel. That's cool. It kind of makes me think that power is going to run through these places. But like I said, I haven't really messed with the power of the vaults too much. I've just been trying to get the building of the rooms together. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to do these in multiple parts because they seem to be getting quite long. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fun. It's been Man Faces signing out. Take care, everyone. All right, so we were able to get our atrium complete. I want to show everybody the clipping that's going on right here. Uh, what ended up happening is I had to remove the stairs, put the railing, and then put the stairs back. Got a little bit of hole there, but no bigs. And then there's, see, you see that? That's what's amazing. Um, I guess I'll go on ahead and show that off. Because of that, we're able to go on ahead and in add even more. Uh, well, I guess so, but I guess not. Oh, well, sucks.